What can you make with these three simple ingredients? Well, stick around, friends, because you're about to find out. To get this party started, we're going to start by measuring out one quarter cup of unflavored plain yogurt and one quarter cup of cultured low fat buttermilk. And you'll also need one whole quart of heavy whipping cream. We're going to start by taking our one quart of heavy whipping cream and pouring the entire contents out into this eight cup Pyrex mixing bowl. We're going to follow that up by adding both our buttermilk and our yogurt. And we want to mix that together until it's well combined. And this is going to be covered with a piece of plastic wrap and left out on the counter overnight and that's going to allow the culture within that buttermilk and the yogurt to inoculate the heavy cream that is what causes the culture effect in our european style butter so fast forward into the next day we're going to take off our cover here and you'll notice that the cream has thickened quite a bit and again, that's part of that culturing process that we're trying to create within our heavy whipping cream. What's also important to know is we don't want to miss any of this. So scrape that down as good as you possibly can. That is liquid gold, folks. Once we finish transferring all of our cream mixture into the mixing bowl, we're going to add our whisk attachment and just let this thing blitz on high. You'll notice it's starting to get at a whipped cream consistency, and here's where we want to clean off the whisk attachment and get that out of the picture and add in our paddle. This is going to help ensure that it helps that butter clump together and form those fat globules we all know and love. But don't be afraid to give a little scrape here and there. Note, you can also do this with a hand mixer. You can also do this with a mason jar by adding all that together and shaking the crap out of it. It's gonna work either way, but this is just how I'm doing it so you, you get the gist of it with the video. So as you can see here, we've got all those fat globules coming together. And you'll also notice that milky white liquid that's in the, the bowl as well. And that is white gold my friends we're not going to get rid of that it's an awesome byproduct of the butter making process and as you've noticed i've scraped down the paddle i'm getting that out of the picture here and we're going to move on to the next part of making our butter the next thing you're going to want to do is grab a colander that's been lined with a little bit of cheesecloth and the reason why we're doing this is we're trying to prevent any of those chunks of butter that could potentially slip through our colander and really hold them back so that it's staying with the actual butter that we're making and we're separating that from the buttermilk. Now the beautiful thing here is you can make some of the best baked products with that buttermilk. We're talking buttermilk biscuits, buttermilk pancakes, buttermilk scones. You name it that takes buttermilk, you use it for that. Don't throw that away. It's good for about two weeks. The next phase in making our butter is we're going to use a series of washes to combine our butter granules into one giant mass. And the purpose of this is not only to bind the butter, but we're also squeezing the butter to expel any trapped buttermilk that is kept within the mass. Something you'll notice on my second and third washes is I'm adding some ice cubes in as I work to keep pressing that buttermilk out of the mass. And that's really just to help keep your butter cool. We really wanna make sure it's not melting in our hands here. So what I've done here is I formed it into a disc and it's just to help move it into the next phase. Next thing we're going to want to do here is take a paper towel and kind of dry off that excess and we're going to weigh our butter to see how much our yield was. In this case, out of one quart, I got 13.5 ounces of butter. So just shy of a pound by two and a half ounces. But you got to remember, we didn't just get amazing homemade butter here, guys. We got amazing homemade buttermilk and that that's a two for one that you can't beat for the five dollars i spent to put this whole thing together if you look at the amount of yogurt amount of buttermilk and amount of heavy whipping cream and by the way now is a good time to cut yourself a slice of homemade bread and toast it up and if that bread doesn't fit in the toaster don't be afraid to shave its ears off uh, then you want to spread your butter on that toast nice and evenly cut that sucker in half if you'd like it's your life after all well let's give this a uh, little tasty taste here hmm I don't know if I like it, I better try it again. Oh good. And if you want to be real bougie, grab yourself some mold and sea salt flakes and put it on that biatch before you give a little bit of bite in your whisker biscuit. Let's try this with that mold and sea salt now.
couple things. What's really nice about this butter is you get this nice accentuation of tanginess in the background. It's very, very small. Um, kind of like a, like buttermilk. Well, obviously we just made that, but I would say it's really nice. You know, it's super creamy. Um, it's the second time we made it now. And first time where I've obviously shown you how to do it, but I mean, it's, it's super fantastic. And this batch is actually gonna go towards making some cookies. So pay attention, that's gonna be coming out soon. And if uh, I could ask for your support with a like, follow or share or subscribe, whatever you're watching this on, I'd appreciate it friends. Have a good day.